Hey everybody, this is Steve. Today we're gonna work, do some work in the workbench here. Uh, show you how easy it is to add an uh, NRIO network, add some IO 34 and IO 16 modules to a station. So I already got my station running here on my workbench, and I'm running 1410, and that would equate to 410 if you're using uh, anything other than Johnson Controls. Um, the reason why I'm using 4.10 is it's the extended supported version. 14.11's out. 4.11's out right now. Um, but 4.10, 14.10 is going to be uh, supported longer than 14.11. 4.11 will. So, the new in 4.10, you no longer have to add a pallet and add the network on to the drivers anymore like this even though you still can you can now double click on drivers and come over here and hit new and find the network that you want to add we'll add an NRO network can name it something different if you wanted to and then when we go into that guy we can add uh, offline hardware here or we can go to our palette and just drag it and drop it over drag it and drop it up sorry either way neither way is wrong all right it could be done either way but this way I'll just do it here so we're going to add a 34 module, you give it a name, so you have to give it a name, IOR34, boom, now it's going to address itself, whatever you uh, first um, discovered in. So you got to discover these one at a time and then match them up and it'll add its address. There's, you can't add an address right here now. So, but you can go ahead and add the points. So now we got this guy over here. Here's its points. So here's all the points you got to work with. So, so we're going to put an outside air on one. We can come up here and put an OA underscore T thermistor. So 10K type 3 is the the only one that you can choose in the drop down. Everything else you're going to have to build a curve for. So it's, it's just best to get a 10K type 3 uh, sensor. Where I'm from, we use Fahrenheit. And since it's outdoor, we'll give it a negative 50 to a 150. I'm in Texas, it's never going to get below negative 50 here. It's, hopefully, it'll never get below 150 here. So, there's our point. Now, if we had this live, we could hook it up, match it up, and everything would work. But what we could do there is we can global share that point into any of uh, the AHE points. So there's an uh, outdoor air temperature, but that's going to be a hardware input too. But if we didn't have one, like maybe this VAV doesn't have one, no. So we should be able to do a new uh, numeric writable and call it OA-T and then we should be able to link our IOR 34 point 
to this guy. T. And we're going to go out. And we're going to go in on 10. And voila. So now whatever... Whatever we display on ROAT over here, it'll show up ROAT over here. See, 329, 329. Obviously, if we were reading this, it would work. But that's how you can do some IRR points and share them across the network to your backnet network.